Hi everyone, so in this video what we're going to talk about is replacing NAs in data frames with other values. Um, so if we look here, um, I have this mba.rooks, um, the, the data frame. You can watch the last tutorial if you don't understand where this is coming from, but I got this from Excel. I got the read.csv here, so I worked in directory. So if we look over here, we notice in the points per game column, there are NAs and those correspond to injured players. So let's say we're going to eventually either want to replace those NAs, if that's what we want, or just get rid of those rows together. So one, uh, if you want to just get rid of the rows, uh, it's pretty simple here. So what you do is you do na.omit and you just type in your data frame. And what it's going to do is going to get rid of the rows that have the NAs. The only problem with this is that you now you don't see uh, jo Jabari Parker, Joel Embiid, or Julius Randle. They're all gone out of here. So that may or may not be what you want. So now we're going to talk a little bit about how to keep them in here, but maybe just change these NA values. So first I'm going to go over a couple functions. So let's just do our test vector just so we get a feel. Actually, uh, I'm just going to make some separate data frames. So we can mess around with those two. Okay, so now we're going to make a test vector just so I can walk you through about what's going on. Okay, so now we do test and it has uh, the column of the points per game right here. So there's one function called is.na, and is.na of test is going to return a logical value. So it's going to true, um, <coughs> return false if the element is not NA. It's going to tr return true if the element is NA. Now, that's one part. Now, it's kind of a dual part thing here. Now we have this function called which. And which dot is NA test when you um, combine the two together. So what's happening here is that which is identifying which indices have the NA value because here comes true, true, true in these spots and it's two, three, seven, which correspond to it. So it's going to get you there. Now what we can do is we can actually go in the vector using this and we can go ahead. So what this is doing, this is this part right here is giving us that elements two, three, seven because it's just right here. And what it's going to do is going to, it's going to access the NA elements for the actual test vector. And what we can do is we can go in and change that. Let's just change it to 1 for now. So we go back to test, and all the NA values are replaced with 1. So how does that help us here? So let's go back to NBA Rooks 1. So let's say for our NA values, we want to replace them with 0. So what we can do, an easy way to just change the columns right now, we're going to do NBA Rooks 1 points per game, that column, we're going to go like this. We're going to do which is dot na of mba.rooks1 points per game. So what this is doing is this is giving us the na values in that column. And a cool thing about this is when you refer, when you do this right here, you're just going to go ahead and alter the actual column in here. So it's not like you have to pull it out and then go put it back in. You just have it right here. So we're going to replace them with zero um, because maybe that's what we want for the situation. So now we're going to go back here and look at it and all of them are replaced with zero. So that's one way to do it. Now let's think about uh, another possibility. Let's say rather than just saying they have zero points per game um, because they were injured, let's say maybe we want to make a projected points per game of what they would have had if they had played. Um, just based on their, you know, they're a top 10 pick, so maybe all these top 10 picks have similar numbers. So what we can do instead is re of replacing the NA with zero, we could re replace it with the mean. So now we're going to look at NBA.rooks2, and we're going to mess around with this. <clears throat> so same type of concept, NBA.rooks2, and we're going to look at the points per game column. We're going to do which is .na of NBA.rooks points per game. And here comes a little tricky part. We're going to do the mean of NBA.rooks uh, 2 points per game. 
and we're going to set na.remove equal to true. Now what this is going to do, so this the mean this function right here is actually taking the mean of this column right here. Um, so the problem is there's NAs in here. What na.remove, when you set it equal to true, what it does is it takes out those NAs and then does the computation. So now we're going to run this here, and we're going to look at nba.rooks too. And all the NAs are replaced with the mean, so this could be some projected value. All right, that's it. Thanks.